This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. I think sometimes men have an idea of what chivalry should look like and the kind of chivalry women should want from us. And I think men get annoyed when, for women, it would actually look different. And, or more importantly, that certain things that guys do that they think are chivalrous are not things that they're asking for of us and that they don't actually need from us. So uh, this guy, I, I did that video with, about Better Bachelor and about the texting thing where like basically he was reviewing a woman's text chat and how she was saying that because the guy like waited to the last minute to hit her up for, uh, to solidify plans for a date, and then was trying to ask her, well, where should we go and what should we do? That she ultimately decided not to go on the date. And Better Basher got, got on her for that saying, well, you know, he sh she should have known this when he texted this and blah, blah, blah. And she should. And I'm like, this is why, A, texting sucks. But also when you're asking them out on dates, you try to make things as clear as possible so that there will be no misunderstandings. And so you can get the date, right? All this extra chatter, all these making these extra jokes. When you're trying to get a date, Go for the stuff that'll get you the date. Put out the details that let her know that you want the date, so forth and so on, right? So there was a guy that commented under that, and I'm going to read his comments and stop along the way, all right? So he says, men only need to plan and pay for a date if you're applying our old traditional values to relationships. If she's got a career, has had multiple prior partners, and can support herself, then men need to plan or pay becomes a statement about a woman's value compared to men. Well, here's the thing. I have pushed on this show repeatedly now that if you're, the, to be fair, most guys, as a guy, you're going to more often than not ask for the date. Like I, ideally, whoever asks for the date would pay, but most women aren't going to come to you and ask for a date initially. I've had it done, the, the earliest I've ever had that done is like the second date. Like I'll take a girl on a first date and then she's hitting me up. Hey, so I want to go on a date with you. Let's go this Sunday. Oh crap, that was easy. But most of the time you're going to ask first, right? But I keep stressing to you guys, dates don't have to be expensive. Dates don't have to cost money. In California here, I've literally gone on dates at like comedy clubs that were like $5 a person, not, and not having to pay any drinks or food just to just see the show. You know, I've done picnic dates. I've done walks in the parking on the beach. Like you guys are thinking I got to pay money and this is net. Nobody said you had to put, you had to put all this money towards a date, but ideally you have money to go on a date either way. Cause like that shows that you have a job and you can support yourself. If you can't do that, then I could see why you would complain about having to pay for all these dates, but you shouldn't be doing overly expensive dates in the first place. You should be knowing enough about your city and town to know where are some spots we can just go and have a chat, coffee shop, uh, pizza's really pretty good. It doesn't cost more than like 20 bucks to share uh, half of half of a pizza where you get to know each other, but it doesn't have to cost a whole lot. But also it's interesting. He says about if you're applying old traditional values to relationships. This is not a relationship. This is the dating scenario. And in the dating scenario, yes, in the beginning, you're probably going to, as the guy, have to do a teeny bit more than her because she has all these offers coming. That is how the game is played, is that there's a lopsidedness. Now, the fortunate side for a guy is that most of those guys are going to fail. If you just have a microcosm of sense about you on a first date, you'll probably get a second date. But if you're going into it where it's like, well, I, I got to do this and she's, well, she's got a career and body. So what should it matter? Like you can, you can totally think that way. You're going to lose out on a lot of women that would actually be good choices because in today's society, I'm sorry to say women have more choices. They can get more hookups. Women have more opportunities to get degrees. They're probably going to have higher paying jobs. Look at Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Spoiler. She's a billionaire. He's not. So you can be mad at that and be like, because of that, she needs to pay. Okay, fine. Newsflash. Just because women have those things that they're not most sane women are not equating their value with that stuff. Like, oh, I have a high career and I, you know, I can support myself, but she still goes home alone at night. So she knows that her value is not in that. Her value is in how she looks. Her value is in her fertility. Her value is in her ability to be agreeable. And so you have to find out if a woman is that thing. So if you start by asking her out on dates that are relatively affordable and seeing if she goes along with the flow, that's an easy way to see early on, oh, this woman might actually be somebody that's worth having in my circle, you know? So then secondly, he says, men habitually make an effort to gain a woman's attention, yet the reverse also needs to be true. A charming personality, appearances, and physical intimacy may entertain a man for a while. Yet this isn't enough to sustain his attention because it doesn't meet the standards for a healthy relationship. But again, this is the dating phase. And so what in that video with the, with the bachelor, he was going over a video of a woman that was just trying to get to a second date 
and the guy was messing up there, right? So his approach to trying to get a date made her realize that this guy doesn't actually know what he's doing. And so she was right to not accept the date. Now, I said in that video also, I don't think she's a good partner. Like given her TikToks and what she talks about, she's probably already like toxic. But even if she's a toxic, that was a scenario where he was doing the wrong stuff. And so to this point, like, yeah, like early on, He's saying like all this other stuff is not going to be good for a relationship, but like that's the stuff that gets you into it. Like realistically, women bring person should be bringing a charming personality. They should look really hot. They should want to hook up with you. Those three things are important stepping stones to getting to know the other parts of her to assess if she's a partner. And so ideally, a woman that has a good sense about her is going to bring those things to the table for you to be like, but that's not enough. She's starting off with what she needs to start off with to try to impress you. And then she can get to deeper stuff later on. Most guys are trying to get too deep, too early. And so that chases them off. Whereas the girl coming on is just trying to have fun early on. And so if these are not enough for you early in the dating process, then you're not going to ever get to the deeper stuff. If you can't accept the surface level stuff she's initially bringing, she's not going to trust you enough to want to do the deeper stuff because you can't even handle like the surface-based stuff and have fun. Like women want to be with guys they can have fun with and also have deeper conversations with. And you're saying that's not good enough. You're going to lose a lot of women that way. So then he says, if little more is offered, then you're simply trading your time in return for nice dates and gifts. This is why the dating phase is a two to three month process where you figure all this stuff out. The, accept, the expectation that men pay primes men to consider what they're getting for that money. It can't be nothing and it shouldn't be something. Well, again, the idea is that you're not spending a lot of money. You're, you're going to basically be matching the money effort with the energy that she's bringing to these very states. So in the beginning, it's going to be very low effort on your part. You're paying for maybe a coffee or maybe a whole pizza that costs $20. But you're doing that because that's going to give you an excuse to meet up with her, to talk to her, to get to know her, to learn about her. And she's also coming knowing that, hey, early on, he doesn't know me enough to spend all this money. That's totally fine. I need to get to know him anyway, because honestly, at least what I've heard from women, the more you're spending on these dates, they're thinking, what's the expectation? Like if he's spending 150 bucks on his first date, what does he want me to do after this date that I might not be ready for? So most women actually prefer that you're not spending a whole lot of money. Men have been tricked into believing, I gotta, I gotta spend two to $300 on a date, blah, blah, blah. And then they get mad at the woman for accepting the date. If I was a woman, I'd accept the date. You're, you're willing to offer up a $300 date. I'm not gonna turn that down, that's stupid. But also, if you offer out a $20 date, well, okay, cool. I'm gonna go there to get to know him anyway. Like, you're the one that's putting forth all this money that nobody asked you to put forward. And I know, Somebody's going to say, but hey, what about that video of the girl that didn't accept Cheesecake Factory, all these other videos, blah, 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 blah. There are a segment of women out there that will not accept dates that are lower than $100. You do not date those women. But those women, I have found in my personal life, are few and far between. Most women, especially when, you get, when they get to like their late 20s, early 30s, they can barely get a date, and let alone a date with a guy that they actually like. So they're just like, I just want this guy to be sane. Please let him be sane. Please let him not ask about my boobs. Let him not try to touch me. Let him not try to think of any nasty jokes. They're just hoping for all that to where the money aspect is the least important part of this date more uh, over the other stuff that I just mentioned, you know?